Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Missed with that right hand. Oh, really easy. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice punch, man. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Now he gets in more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Nice right hand. Let's focus, let's focus now. He blocks the shot. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch there. Takedown defense holds up. the right just out of range. Big punch land. <clears throat> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Straight punch lands. Hook shot lands. Oh, straight right. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up with that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice uppercut there. Wow! He's good. Throws him up. Go get him. He got him. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big hook.
certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Beautiful. This one's all... You ready? You ready? Fight! Punch coming. It's blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some... All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter who's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. And they both stand up. Single collar tie now. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice strike. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick lands. He loaded up on him right too. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, spinning ball fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Beautiful body kick. Lands a big elbow there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Beautiful call. Trying to establish that jab once again. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Oh, elbows from the bottom now. Okay. Elbows landing now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Big leg kick land. Ooh, blocks the shot. Quick level change, oh, DC. He went single, rotate it outside. Oh. Takes a forward height. What a fantastic takedown. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Seconds 
remain in round two. The big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, huge kick to the body. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice. Dude's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt, man. Oh, he might be out. He's out. He's out. He's out. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world.